Hello guys, I will tell you a story about a unique chain pickerel. He was just sitting on the weeds to the left. And then I came and now you can see I got him hooked, the unique chain pickerel. After I think 7 to 10 days in game fishing. So it was not easy. It was, in my opinion, really hard, this uh, fish. But I'm really happy because this is my uh, favorite fish. And uh, yeah, it was it was struggling to be honest because uh, I had the position, so on the chain pickerel position. But even then, it took so much time to catch him, and now I got him. So like you can see, it's a 2.8 kilogram uh, fish, uh, and I like him a lot. I like the green and all that stuff. But uh, back to business. I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch him. It's not complicated, uh, the position, but it's hard to catch him. And I think that's not so bad because it's a unique uh, fish. So uh, it's not that you can farm them the whole day long. Uh, but I will give you all the tips that I know and what I did to catch him. So first of all, I'm going, like always, show you guys what this fish is worth. Let's uh, let's go to the fishing net because it's my first one, so I'm not sure. Uh, of course, he's going to give gold. Uh, yeah, he gives six gold and 116 experience. So, yeah, like you can, guys can see, I'm fishing on a certain hour. I tried midday, and then it was always evening because that's the good hour. I will say to you guys what the good hour is right away. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys my setup because you need to make distance. So uh, I talked with the guys that uh, got a lot of unique chain pickerels and they said to me 60 to 70 meter is the best place to catch them. I got mine on 62, so I believe those guys. And like you guys can see, the spoon that you need to use to catch him is the casting spoon 21 gram. So that's what you need. Now I'm going to show you guys the other setup with my gear. So I went with the Jig Winner 217, uh, the Callisto MG3000, and I went with the Fluoro uh, 0.2 millimeter or uh, 2.7 kilograms. That you can lift with it. The fluoro is really important uh, because it's uh, a wire or a line I need to say that you cannot see in the water and you can throw really far with it too. I tried bread uh, line and another guy that already ca got like uh, 13 uh, uniques tried bread too but it didn't work. So go for the fluoro 0.2 or fluoro 0.23. You can choose from those two. I think they are both gold. But yeah, of course, it's an unique fish too. So there is not a lot you can do about it. This is the most important. Like I say, the, like I already said, it's the 21 gram that is important to catch them. It's possible that you can go with the 14 gram too. But... It's so unique, this fish, that testing is almost impossible. So, if I want to test something else, you never know that it works or not works, because it's really hard to say it, because you're not catching a fish. That's the main problem. And once of a sudden, the unique is there. And you cannot say, I got like a normal chain pickerel, then you got a trophy. You can think, yeah, I'm now at the sweet spot. No, you can catch a trophy, then 20... Uh, normal is a trophy again and so on. And then once of a sudden that unique is there. So just be sure that you can handle 2.8 kilograms. Use uh, the, the red and white casting spoon 21 gram. And of course the fluoro line is important. Now to the technical aspect of uh, this fishing. So what you need to do is. You need to you need to go to uh, New York and to this place, the Dock of Peace. Otherwise, you cannot reach uh, the place, the the living area where the chain picker lives. So, like you guys already saw in my previous movie, uh, the chain picker 
position is over here. So here you got the lilies and here you got like wheat. And this is the, the position where my blue marker is now. That's where you need to throw. That's the most important stuff. So what I do is like this. So I always throw at the same position. And I got this fish too with throwing at the same position. Because before that I, I just moved a little bit sometimes. But what I do is like this. I put like the, the marker with one side against the wheat and I throw. Okay, be sure you need to make 60, more than 60 meters, otherwise you cannot catch him. I heard from, from a guy uh, in the chat that there was a guy that got him on 40 meters, but I think that's even, that's so rare and you need so much RNG to catch him that it's almost impossible. So you just throw like this. And you will see, yeah, it's a, it's a long distance, you know, it's, uh, I think, 67. Yeah, right away, 67. That's the, the farthest distance that you can throw with this setup. So, and then I put it on one speed and on two drag. I got the fish in with two drag, so it works. It's not that he's pulling your line in pieces. And what I did then, now you got like a frame of seven meters. Because after 60 meters, it's hard to catch them. So what you do is just reel a little bit in, you strike. Reel a little bit in, you strike again. Reel in, strike, and so on. That's how you do it. And take it from me. One of five throws you call the fish, you know. It's not that uh, that every throw you, you catch something. No. Okay. And once you're on the 60 marker, just push shift and you reel back in and you go again. So don't bother with going down. You, It's possible that you can catch him at lower meters, but the chance is so low. That it's not worth just reel in and go again and you will see that uh, that you're going to catch a lot quicker the unique okay that was it for the meter so 60 to 70 meters you guys saw the position for the guys that missed it this is the position but i always throw at the same position like this and then the time the time is really important too um a lot of guys that already got him was always uh, half past four in the afternoon, five o'clock in the afternoon. One guy got six o'clock in the afternoon. So, and it was always a sunny day. So, I think around four o'clock in the afternoon until seven o'clock in the early evening with sunny day, it works. So four to seven in the afternoon, sunny day with this setup. And you will catch him. If you don't have him uh, right away, don't panic. That's normal. He's, he's an unique. He's really, really rare. If I see the leaderboard, I think 15 people got him. But if you want to do an achievement to get an unique and a really beautiful fish, go for it. Just go for it. That was my movie, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. After this movie, you can see my catch uh, almost from the start until I reel him in. And otherwise, good luck uh, with fishing the chain pickerel. And thanks for watching. My next target is the unique wall eye here. So if I got him, you guys are the first to see the movie. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.